We've got some fresh images of 3i Atlas, a third ever interstellar object observed from Earth, currently racing through our solar system. For months, astronomers assured us that 3i slash ATLAS would be nothing more than a spectacular show, a dramatic flyby, they said, a harmless interstellar tourist that would grace our skies, wave at Mars from a safe distance, and disappear back into the cosmic dark. The calculations were solid. The models were unanimous. There was absolutely nothing to worry about. Then, the James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden mirrors toward this wandering visitor, and everything changed in an instant. The data that came back wasn't just unexpected. It was impossible. The trajectory had shifted. The object's behavior defied every prediction. And for the first time since its discovery, scientists are using a word they swore they'd never need. Impact. But this isn't your typical space rock tumbling through the void. Three. I slash ATLAS pulses with rhythmic precision, its gas jets firing at intervals so perfect they could set a Swiss watch. Its path isn't drifting, it's tightening, correcting, adjusting like a guided missile finding its mark. The coma surrounding it has doubled in brightness in just three weeks, something that shouldn't happen to any natural comet at this distance from the sun. Every new observation raises the same terrifying question. Is this object falling toward Mars by cosmic coincidence, or is something steering it there? Because if you look at the data, really look at it, 3i slash ATLAS behaves less like a chunk of ancient ice and more like something with purpose, something with intent, something that chose Mars. The red planet now sits directly in the crosshairs of an interstellar mystery. And we're about to find out if the universe just rolled the dice, or if something out there is aiming. The James Webb Space Telescope wasn't built to track nearby objects. Its mirrors were designed to capture the birth of galaxies 13 billion years ago, to peer through cosmic dust and reveal the universe's first light. But when you point humanity's most advanced eye at something closer to home, you see details that every other telescope misses. Details that can't be ignored. Details that change everything. Webb's infrared sensors can detect heat signatures invisible to ground-based observatories. Its spectrographs can analyze molecular compositions with unprecedented precision. And when it locked onto 3i slash ATLAS, it revealed anomalies that have left the astronomical community in stunned silence. This wasn't just another observation, it was a revelation. To understand why this matters, you need to understand how rare interstellar visitors are. In all of human history, we've confirmed only three objects from beyond our solar system. First came Oumuamua in 2017, that bizarre, cigar-shaped enigma that accelerated without explanation. Then Borisov in 2019, a more traditional comet but still alien in origin. And now 3i slash ATLAS, by far the strangest of them all. These objects are cosmic ambassadors from distant star systems, carrying secrets from places we'll never visit. They're ejected from their home systems by gravitational chaos, wandering the galaxy for millions or billions of years before stumbling into our neighborhood. The odds of seeing even one in a human lifetime are astronomical. The odds of one heading directly toward a planet? That's not supposed to happen. Orbital mechanics is a precise science. We calculate trajectories using repeated observations, accounting for every gravitational tug from every massive body. We run simulations thousands of times, reducing uncertainty to mere kilometers over millions of miles. It's how we land rovers on Mars and slingshot probes around Jupiter. It's reliable, it's predictable, it's mathematical certainty. But Webb's observations shattered that certainty. The data was so shocking that it was independently verified by three separate teams before anyone dared to speak publicly. The conversation in the scientific community shifted overnight from fascinating visitor to potential catastrophe. Emergency meetings were called, contingency plans were drafted, and for the first time in modern astronomy, we're watching an interstellar object that might not just pass through our solar system, it might leave a permanent mark. The numbers alone are staggering. 3. I slash ATLAS measures approximately 2 kilometers across, making it larger than 90% of near-Earth asteroids. Its surface reflects radar signals with a metallic intensity that suggests high iron content, yet it outgasses like a traditional comet. This contradiction has astronomers scrambling for explanations. Ice doesn't ping radar like metal. Metal doesn't sublimate into gas. Yet somehow, 3 I slash ATLAS does both. The spectral analysis reveals even deeper mysteries. Alongside expected compounds like water vapor and carbon dioxide, Webb detected unusual isotope ratios, signatures that don't match anything in our solar system. The oxygen-18 levels are wrong. The carbon ratios are alien. Even the hydrogen doesn't look quite right. This object didn't form here. 
It comes from a place with different chemistry, different physics, perhaps even different stellar evolution. Picture its journey. Ejected from an unknown star system perhaps a billion years ago, 3i slash ATLAS has been sailing through interstellar space at speeds we can barely comprehend, 40 kilometers per second relative to nearby stars. It's crossed light years of absolute emptiness, survived radiation that would destroy any earthly machine, and maintained its structural integrity through temperature variations from near absolute zero to whatever heat it absorbed passing other stars. For eons, it wandered alone in the dark between worlds. No destination, no purpose, just cosmic drift. Until our sun's gravity caught it, pulled it in, and set it on a collision course with destiny. The odds of this trajectory are so infinitesimally small that some researchers are questioning whether odds have anything to do with it at all. Because here's what normal comets don't do. They don't accelerate without visible outgassing. They don't emit ultraviolet radiation in structured pulses. They don't adjust their trajectories with the precision of spacecraft making course corrections. Yet 3i slash ATLAS does all of these things. The UV spikes come every 7.3 hours like clockwork. The acceleration follows a pattern that would make sense if the object was rotating and venting gas from specific points. Except the venting appears controlled, modulated, almost deliberate. The identity crisis is real. Comet, asteroid, defunct spacecraft from a civilization that died before Earth was born. Every label falls short. Every category fails to contain it. We simply don't have words for what 3i slash ATLAS might be. But as its path narrows toward Mars with each passing day, finding those words becomes less academic and more urgent. Because whatever this thing is, Mars is about to find out firsthand. The confirmation came from five independent observatories across four continents. Gemini North in Hawaii, the Very Large Telescope in Chile, the Subaru Telescope in Japan, the Grand Telescopio in the Canary Islands, and of course the James Webb Space Telescope in its lonely orbit. Each facility ran their own calculations. Each came to the same terrifying conclusion. The margin of error has shrunk from millions of kilometers to mere thousands. 3i slash ATLAS is converging on Mars. The gravitational mechanics at play are both simple and impossibly complex. Jupiter's massive pull initially bent the object's path inward. The Sun's gravity accelerated it further. Venus and Earth added their own subtle tugs. Each influence was predictable, calculable, following Newton's and Einstein's laws to perfection. But then something changed. The object's own emissions, those rhythmic gas pulses, began acting like thrusters, adding tiny but cumulative changes to its vector. Think of it like this. If you're rolling a bowling ball down a lane and someone keeps tapping it gently but precisely from the side, eventually that ball will curve exactly where the tapper wants it to go. That's what's happening with 3i slash ATLAS. Each pulse, each emission, each tiny thrust is moving it closer to a perfect intersection with Mars's orbit, and the timing couldn't be more precise. Current models show the encounter window opening in just 37 months, not centuries, not decades, three years and change. If the current acceleration pattern continues, that window narrows to a direct impact. But here's the truly unsettling part. The margin is so razor thin that a single major outburst, one strong pulse from the object, could seal Mars's fate. We're not watching a maybe anymore. We're watching a when. The energy calculations are sobering. At its current velocity of 57 kilometers per second relative to Mars, a 2-kilometer object would release approximately 1.8 million megatons of energy on impact. For perspective, that's 36,000 times more powerful than the largest nuclear weapon ever tested. It would create a crater 45 kilometers wide and 4 kilometers deep. The shockwave would circle Mars multiple times. Debris would be ejected into space, some achieving escape velocity, turning into meteors that could eventually reach Earth. The scientific community has shifted from observation to preparation. NASA has redirected two Mars orbiters to continuously monitor 3i slash ATLAS. The European Space Agency is running impact simulations around the clock. China's space agency has proposed an emergency mission to place sensors on Mars before impact. Russia is dusting off old planetary defense proposals. Everyone is scrambling because we're no longer studying a visitor passing through our cosmic neighborhood. We're documenting the prelude to an interplanetary collision. Mars, our red neighbor, our future second home, our laboratory for understanding planetary evolution, is about to become ground zero for an event we'll watch unfold in real time. And there's absolutely nothing we can do to stop it. The impact would fundamentally reshape Mars's geography. 
a 45-kilometer crater would instantly become one of the planet's most prominent features, visible from Earth through amateur telescopes. But the crater is just the beginning. Seismic waves would ripple across Mars for hours, potentially triggering Mars quakes along dormant fault lines. Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system, sits dormant now, but could impact shockwaves awaken geological processes that have slept for millions of years? The immediate aftermath would be apocalyptic by Martian standards. Ejecta would rain down across thousands of kilometers, creating secondary craters, destroying surface features we've studied for decades. The impact energy would vaporize permafrost, releasing water vapor and CO2 into the atmosphere. For a brief period, perhaps weeks or months, Mars might experience weather unlike anything in its recent geological history. Temporary clouds, brief precipitation, atmospheric thickening that could alter the planet's albedo and surface temperature, but it's the dust that poses the longest lasting threat. Mars's weak gravity means ejected particles would take months to settle. A global dust storm would engulf the planet, blocking sunlight, dropping surface temperatures even further, and creating an atmospheric shroud that would blind our orbiting observers. We've seen regional dust storms last for months. A post-impact storm could last for years. The scientific losses would be irreplaceable. Perseverance and curiosity are nuclear-powered rovers that have revealed so much about Martian geology and the search for ancient life would be buried or destroyed. The Ingenuity helicopter, humanity's first powered aircraft on another world, would be swept away like a leaf. Decades of carefully placed instruments, weather stations, and seismic monitors, our entire Martian infrastructure could be obliterated in seconds. Yet even in destruction, there's unprecedented opportunity. An interstellar impact would excavate material from deep within Mars's crust, exposing layers we've never seen, potentially revealing subsurface water, mineral deposits, or even biosignatures of ancient Martian life. The impact itself becomes the ultimate geological experiment, showing us what lies beneath Mars's rusty surface. From Earth, humanity would witness something no civilization in recorded history has seen, a major planetary impact in real time. Our telescopes would capture the flash of impact, visible even in daylight. Amateur astronomers would document the expanding debris cloud. Scientists would gather data that could finally answer questions about impact dynamics, atmospheric responses, and planetary evolution. It would be terrifying, tragic, and absolutely irreplaceable as a scientific event. The Mars impact, if it happens, becomes humanity's wake-up call written in fire across the heavens. We've known intellectually that Earth faces the same risk. Asteroids, comets, and yes, interstellar objects could strike our world with civilization-ending force. But knowing and seeing are different things. Watching Mars get hit by three I slash ATLAS would transform planetary defense from an abstract concern to an immediate priority. Our current defense capabilities are essentially non-existent against interstellar objects. Unlike solar system asteroids that we can track for years or decades, interstellar visitors appear suddenly, move at extreme velocities, and follow unpredictable paths. 3i slash ATLAS proves they can also maneuver, making them impossible to intercept with current technology. The traditional approaches, gravity tractors, ion beam deflection, even nuclear options, require warning times we simply don't have with these cosmic bullets. This event could catalyze the greatest acceleration in space technology since the space race. Suddenly, establishing bases on Mars isn't just about exploration. It's about creating backup sites for human civilization. Developing rapid response spacecraft isn't just interesting engineering, it's existential insurance. The economic arguments against space development evaporate when you're watching a planet get demolished in real time. But beyond the practical implications, 3i slash ATLAS forces us to confront deeper questions. If this object's behavior truly suggests guidance rather than chance, then we must consider possibilities that venture beyond conventional science. Is this impact deliberate? Is Mars being marked, tested, or prepared for something? The rhythmic pulses, the course corrections, the impossible precision of its approach? These aren't characteristics of a dead rock. They're characteristics of intention. Some researchers are already proposing radical interpretations. Could 3i slash ATLAS be a messenger, its impact designed to reveal something hidden beneath Mars's surface? Could it be a trigger, awakening dormant systems we don't yet know exist? Or could it be a demonstration, a cosmic reminder that Earth exists in a universe where intelligence might manifest in forms we're not prepared to recognize? The philosophical implications ripple outward, 
if 3 I slash A T L A S is artificial or even partially directed, then humanity isn't just watching a collision. We're witnessing communication on a scale that transcends language, culture, even biology. The message might not be in words or signals, but in the very act itself, a statement written in momentum and energy across the solar system's canvas. As we count down to potential impact, humanity stands at a crossroads. We can treat this as a random cosmic event, a statistical inevitability in a universe full of wandering rocks. Or we can see it as a catalyst for transformation, a reason to unite, to advance, to prepare for a future where Earth is no longer our only home and where visitors from beyond our solar system might bring more than just destruction. Are we watching an accident of celestial mechanics, or are we witnessing an invitation written in trajectories and mathematics? Is 3i slash ATLAS a harbinger of doom or a herald of awakening? The answer may determine not just Mars's future, but humanity's path forward in a universe that suddenly seems far less empty and far more intentional than we ever imagined. The countdown has begun. Mars awaits its fate. And we wait to discover if this collision will be an ending or a beginning, not just for Mars, but for our understanding of our place in a cosmos that might be watching us as closely as we're watching it.